Hey guys, welcome back to Age of Calamity. So off screen, I did some of that grinding that I said I was going to do, and I have enough honeybee things now, which I was short on, to purchase this. An extra special attack gauge for Zelda. She's like one of the few main characters has that has been missing that. But I should also now have enough hardy bass for this. A bonus combo for Spear Link, who I never use. But I do have a really nice spear. I kind of want to use it, it's just... I don't know, something in my brain is like Link needs the Master Sword. Because I'm dumb, but there we go. That's There's two quick things. But the focus this time is this other main mission. Let's go rescue Daruk and Mifa. But I did some grinding, like I said, in that uh, electric mission, whatever it was. So I'm going to use Link and Rivali. But yeah, Link's weapon is 80 plus 5, and I beefed up Rivali's weapon too. So 61 plus 5, and also... Look at this thing. 77 plus 5 with Impa. 66 plus 5... With Zelda, and then 55. I guess Arbosa needs a little work still, but... Anyway, so the carrot stew that we always do. You call this food? And then... Dubious food is what I've been doing, but considering we're going to have to fight two Blight Ganons in this mission, I guess we'll do the material drop rate instead. Because I don't want to take a hit health-wise. Not that it's mattered ever up to this point. But yeah, Link and Rivali. And two more people. Are we to assume Sidon and uh, Yonobo? Think you can keep up? We'll see. See, maybe this is where Link and Rivali bond. I don't know. Having witnessed images of the divine beasts under the control of Calamity Ganon, the party hurried to the champions, praying it was not too late. To the east of Hyrule, Preparations to contend with Calamity Ganon were underway. Varuta and Varudania stood at the ready, as monsters pressed in from all sides. The monsters threatened to overwhelm them, but Mipha and Daruk battled relentlessly within their divine beasts. Meanwhile, Link and the others began to cut a path directly through the enemy ranks. I will not allow you to take her again! Sidon? <laughs> <laughs> Winning smile. I like these little cutscenes, even though it's time traveling craziness. Gotta rescue Daruk, man. It's like when somebody who's been powerful your whole life has a moment of weakness. Typically, your father, right? If you have good relations with your father. It's like the first time you see him actually weak. It's like, holy crap. And that's when you mean business. Because it's like the most impossible thing ever has just happened, right? This dude you thought was invincible your whole life. Uh, alright, Rivali, you're with me. You're not in a separate part, so... Let's just send him that way, and... Oh, my God. 
Mitha, I think, gets the short end of the stick with her lines. I realize she's supposed to be kind of fragile-ish. It's like sometimes she delivers things all right, and other times it's like, eh, I don't know. It's almost like they try to make her too airheaded or something, and she's not supposed to be that way, I don't think. Yeah, racking them all up. I still like that spin attack. Very nice. Hey, I was mid Magnesis. What are you doing here talking about showing me a cutscene about elephants and sludge? I better still be chucking those things at the dude's nose. I'm not. Oh, he was about to start it up again, at least. Ain't nobody got time for that. That's right. Valuto. Alright, Rivali and Link. In the meantime, you go over to this dead-end corner where there's probably going to be a Korok, if we had to guess. Yeah, I was practicing with Rivali, trying to get him up to speed, too. And I played a little bit more of Taba as well, and I came to the conclusion that I do still think Rivali is better. But it's just a slightly different thing. Taba is slower. But he's, he's not as good at the one-on-one -on -one stuff. Where Rivali can at least kind of pull it off. You stand a chance. Nine mighty porgies. Level up, sweet. I like that move. He grabs him with his talon. Strange corner to have nothing. Ah, well. Yeah, while that last part was uploading, I just played my Animal Crossing day. Not much happening. Still waiting on the snow. It's going to be happening by the time you're watching this, but... Not... Shut up. Have a tornado. Yeah, I think December 12th is the first day of snow-covered ground in Animal Crossing. I think. It's something like that. And it is not yet that day. Get out here, Black Moblin. I got an eye to... Reveal and shoot. That's one way to do it, I suppose. Ah, it doesn't close in close proximity. Oh, hang in there, Mifa. Of course, we gotta send Link, not Rivali. We gotta send Link for both of them. I'm not quite with it yet. All right, Link. Hey, look at that. Perfect. I knew that there would be one. Is that a giant horseshoe? Oh, no, it's a wagon. Almost look like a hint for using Magnesis or something. Oh, look at this. Not even bothering with those stairs anymore. Remember the camera troubles I had in the very beginning of all things? Rock salt. That's good. I'm using it all the time, making... Stuff. Zora, Captain, what you doing? You are a true friend to the Zora. If you say so. Hey. That's not nearly going to be as great as that Impa weapon I showed you I have right now. Alright, dead end. Figures. I don't know where to send Link. Everything's kind of barred off for now. He might be in a good spot. Except he's on the move automatically. Crap. Whatever, let's just see what happens. Cool music, dude.
I was actually just listening to a bunch of music. Somehow I stumbled across the Kennedy Center honors for Led Zeppelin again. And watched that Stairway to Heaven thing where they opened up to that big choir in the back. And then that chained into watching a live performance of Another Brick in the Wall by Pink Floyd and then Wish You Were Here. Well, because I went to the store, you see, and when I go to the store, I listen to music on the way and on the way back, and it kind of puts me back into the mindset of real life. And it revitalizes me at a time when I'm just about done living inside. But the daydreams, man, they're not going away. I think we're losing our mind. It's true, though. You ever been driving by yourself and just imagine somebody's in the passenger seat with you and you start talking to them? And you pretend like what they'd say back to you? It's all in your head and you know it's not real. It's not like you actually believe that they're there. You're just playing pretend while you're driving. Yeah, it happens. And it's messed up. I like, I hate it when I snap out of the daydream. I'm like, dude, what are you doing? Thinking about that again? It's like not even relevant in my life anymore, yet here they come. Creeping. There's a song with a lyric like that. I want to say it's either Gaslight Anthem or his side project, Horrible Crows. How the heck do I get up to you? This map is confusing me, with all its little jumpy bits. This looks like where I want to go to that next outpost. Oh, what the heck? A special Zora sword. Do you say sword or sward? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what's happening! Ravali! You know, figures, you can't do anything. Well, now I'm controlling you, so you can't do anything either, you cocky son of a crumb. I must be close. This, this is what we're gonna do. Computer, please find us the way. We'll just wait. Wait for Link to auto-guide himself and then we'll switch to him. Because I can't figure out the mountain. Get some key swings. But yeah, there's a lyric about one night you just appeared in my passenger seat. He's going on about like these siren type people. With their poison lips, you know. Everything's so perfect, but it's a poison, you know, all those kinds of things. So poetic, yet so dumb. Wait. There we go. We were close. Wait, we were here. Whatever. You know what we were? Dumb. That's right. What do you know about that level 80 sword? Nuts! I thought the eye would be open and I would do something cool. They must be dependent on the boss dudes like this. Ah! Tried to backflip too late. I am bent, but not broken. Even as my body grows weak, I will stand strong. You hang in there, Mifa. Wow, she's really almost dead. We gotta hurry up. I like the undertones. I don't know. Repetitive, but yet it adds to the moment. Ravali, you go to the next waypoint, I guess, while I take care of this. Actually, it's on the same way, but whatever. Just know at some point, the left side of the map is going to open, and I'm going to regret that both characters are on this side. He's really moving, too. They wouldn't lock you, though. Huh? 
there's gonna be a shortcut once we clear the malice. That would be the way to design this, and you know that they're gonna do it. So we're okay, maybe. And Ice Lionel, do we see that yet? Man, when's the last time you had a snowball fight? Many, many moons ago. Nice try! I still like flurry rushes quite a bit. And now you're gonna burn, and we're gonna do it again! It's not gonna be enough, though. End it with a special, or just, nah, well... Revali, you're getting too close, dude. Go... Crap. What are that map can sure be a pain in the neck sometimes. Mifa is almost dead! Here comes Rivali. Well, Crud. So much for conquering or divide and conquer or whatever. There it is. Now we need to be there, don't we? Crap, he was near it too. Um. Cool music to this. Uh -huh. It's different than the Mifa remix before. Volley, you go to where we haven't been. Oh, you can't. Well, then just get ready to be there. Right, where is he? There he is. Get out of here. Okay. Drill shaft, remember those? You used to chuck them at those moblins before launching your Novo. God, I wish I knew how to compose music, dude. That would be the best thing ever. Although you would never be content, probably. One last Korok check, or not. That leads back. What about over here? No? Alright. dead. That's the kind of cutscene you... You almost wish it was meant to be Link so that they could make it more personal than just, oh, it's you. Because you know Mifa would say something if she saw Link in this moment. Yeah, there's no chance, dude. Link is insanely powerful compared to any other character I have. So this jerk... Here. I'm glad that it's it's all ice. We don't have to contend with the water that made his arena such a pain in the neck. Stop it. Ah, almost. 
I love having that bow at the ready, dude. This is all the Breath of the Wild instincts coming back, knowing their weak points already. It's just enough to bring that pie chart back up. And be done with his nonsense. I could end it right now, actually, if I wanted to. I'm struggling with the motion controls again. <laughs> Just pick them off this way. It's like right there. There it is. It's trying to get one more final strike thing, but. I believe. The Zora Longsword, wow. Those were always kind of neat. Man, Meef was like struggling hard there. Sister. Here we go. Just like read you in the previous thing. I have long awaited this moment. I shall help my dear sister and Link as best as I can. Whoa. ZR with the right timing. That's interesting. Oh, that's pretty neat. <laughs> it's like Echo the Dolphin. I see, it gives you a little bit of a... There we go. Yeah, the little circles you gotta pay attention to, and that's when you press ZR. Uh-oh. Too late. I saw it happening, but he's kind of slow. It's like a football player kind of build here. Well, that's sweet. I won't stand for it. I must not fail. Yeah, I like him. It's gonna take some getting used to, and obviously gotta power him up. But... Igneo Talus. Yeah, let's stick to Sidon for a while, try to get used to him. And we'll try to just move people around where... Right. I want to know who composed this song. It says in the gallery, though, which is nice. I think. Unless I'm getting it confused with Smash Bros. Gallery. Gallery, not galaxy. <laughs> what's what's happening in my brain? What are you doing? That's pretty cool. I want to see how many of those he has. He's got to have something where he flashes his smile, and the brightness alone just destroys the battlefield. I'd be disappointed if he doesn't. No, that's... Or at least flash his smile, kind of like how Daruk faces the camera when he brings down an Igneo Talus or something. Tough rock to swallow. Hang in there, Daru. Well, that's cool. Alright, Rivali, you go over here. We haven't done enough with you, so definitely have him do the outpost. And Link, he's gotta be the one to go save Daru. Wait, what's that map? Why can't I? Oh, I see. It's stupid. There we go. <laughs> it's not stupid, but I dub it so. Wow! Sidon's pretty cool. He always was exquisite. Alright, let's go. Uh oh. That's probably not good. I won't stand for it. I must not fail. He needs more power. Whatever, I don't care, I'll burn my feet. It doesn't seem to do much. It must be the difficulty. Onward. I 
I do wonder how much Breath of the Wild is going to be appreciated in like 10 years time. Did the music speed up there because it was a weak point? Or is that just what it always does? I just noticed as soon as I used the ice rod, what, what the? Oh, he, I saw it too late. That's really clever, actually. It was like a baseball. He was playing baseball with the remote bombs using a, like the Sheikah Slate was shooting them out like a T kind of. Yeah, okay, now we're just, we're just sucking now, but whatever, just keep punching them with Echo the Dolphin or whatever the heck we're summoning. It's probably a shark. Alright, we're done with Sidon. Let's bring real power in here until we can beef him up at least. Ceremonial Trident, that's the knockoff one, right? God, I love water stuff in games when you don't actually get wet and cold. Who's... I don't think so. Uh-oh. Alright, Revali, what's going on over here? There's gotta be a Korok or something. Watch and learn! I'm definitely feeling this game right now way more than I was like any other episode. <laughs> I don't know, it got better, man, as soon as we got to Hyrule Castle. It's like that kid thing when you just imagine all your favorite characters. It's the music, too, and the music is a huge reason. Spring. That's kind of cool. And now we're connected back to the beginning, which makes me wonder, did I miss a Korok, or are we just overthinking things? One last check up here, and then we will switch to the man himself. Volley's ready now with two specials in case we need them. Wow, side one's already moving up there. Oh, let's get Revali up there then too. But we're gonna play as Link. Cause who do you really want to rescue Daruk? We gotta earn that. Good job, little guy. Followed by the huge smack that should realistically break Link in half. Realistically, like there's Gorons in real life. There should be. Hey, a hot spring. It actually looks similar to a path in Breath of the Wild where there is a Korok. The Maw of Death Mountain. I hope this doesn't start to fall flat again. Like, Chapter 5 has been awesome so far. But if it starts to get weird... Who's throwing clubs? This is the Maw of Death Mountain. Look, it's the same hill and the same bats. Korok? No. Man. <laughs> Taruk's grumping like crazy. 
it might be a waste of a special, but screw it. And I saw a chest. A diamond. Hi, Ravali. Way to way to be of service. Just flying right by. He would too. That jerk. He's a kid. It's good that they can just go to where you told them to go and not even worry about the enemies, I guess. You never know when we need these tails, you know? You know, Bo, maybe his stuff requires all this burning... Uh... Things. Happen in here? Whatever, he's dead now. Nothing. Wait a minute. Oh, I thought I saw like a Korok sparkle. Oh, not you. Alright, you know what? I wonder at what point in the planning of this game did these last two missions come to fruition? Because that had to be an early choice, right? Like, what if things change and they rescue the champions from their defeat? Like, how would that mission go and what would the music sound like? Oh, wow, he's got that crazy weapon. special, but I kind of wonder... I'm going for it. We might be able to rack it up. Either way, how hard is Fire Blade Ganon gonna be? He's like the easiest one. Sweet! A weapon for what's-his-face? Curious about Yanobo, though. You know. Stay calm, kiddo. You're right, sir. I will. If I came here to save you, but you have to save me, then what's the point? <laughs> yes, that's the spirit. Oh. <laughs> All right. Let's try that again from the top. Yeah, he definitely would have been like, little guy, if it was Link specific. Yes, I got it. I still remember his big sword swing. He did that and then the energy ball thing where you just throw a bomb in it. Which, I speaking of... Let's bring him down with a special then since his pie chart is almost gone, weaken it. And then this. It really is like the easiest fight so far. Oh, what? I must have not hit him in the eye. Yeah, Drew! Come in with that crazy chunky roll. 
That's sweet. There's the ancient arrows. Okay, I guess it makes sense. Lock it to a finishing blow. Silver scale spear. That must be, uh... Well, it could be for Mepha, but it's probably for Sidon. Not complete. There's a divine beast thing we gotta do, that means. Yeah, I'm definitely curious about how Yonobo controls what his gimmick is. Creamy seafood soup! Man, it looks good. It's just a picture, and it's a cartoon. What's wrong with you? I want to consume cartoons. Good. Well, the deed is done. We should all thank you. You really came through, little guy. <laughs> you know, wasn't it? I owe you some thanks, too. Oh. Without your help, I'd have been in deep trouble. <laughs> Sidon, it's all so mysterious. Is it truly you, my brother? Yes, it is yours truly. I know this is hard to swallow, but I journeyed here from the future. <laughs> None of this makes any sense. But oh well, we have bigger rocks to roast. Princess. Please tell us, what happened at the castle? Uh, I'll tell you. Why do I feel like that's gonna become a meme or something? Daruk being like, none of this makes any sense, but oh well. With the aid of Sidon and Yunobo, who had appeared within the Divine Beasts, Mipha and Daruk emerged from the battle unscathed. Safe for the moment, the champions would only enjoy a brief respite. Upon discovering that Hyrule Castle had fallen into enemy hands, Mipha and Sidon headed to Arcalus Citadel to aid the soldiers who were still holding the line. Meanwhile, Daruk and Yunobo prepared to confront the incoming wave of guardians head-on, stepping once more into Varudanya. Old Varudania, better than the elephant. Look at his face, he means business. I like Varudania. I told you to drop the formalities, Nobu. Sorry, but I don't think I can. <laughs> Fine, let's go. <sighs> I need this kid. Ah, crud. Whatever. Maybe Rudania will be better. What are we doing here? Protect the defensive line at all costs. Like that Toto song, Hold the Line. Yeah. If there was a divine beast that I had to pick to get to work or something, I'd want this one. It's like field trips in school, man. You never know who your chaperone's gonna be, and you always hope it's the cool teacher. Like, Daruk and Yonobo are the cool ones. Because, you know, they'd be like, I know we gotta go here, but why don't we stop and get a nice rock roast? And then you'd get some cool things and have a story to tell. Whereas everybody else would just go and buy the book. But you gotta play with it, see? You gotta have fun, and you gotta eat. Crap, they're getting too close to the base. I guess I shouldn't have gone outside. Crap. 
The counter is not as good as some of the other ones, though. He puts the paw out, you know? He tries to catch something. Crap! What? Luckily, mountain terrain doesn't seem to affect how this thing maneuvers. Okay, we cleared it. It's good. Alright, we gotta take out the bridge, I'm assuming. Man, remember school trips? I remember some stuff. Feels like a lifetime ago. And in many ways, it was. Yeah, that's satisfying. Crap, two of them are getting away. Turn it around. It's these two, right? Yeah, sweet. Okay, we should be good. on the other side now, all right. Is that the left or the other pointy thing at the bottom? Okay, there we go. Crap, they're getting close again. This is some weird terrain. I don't know, like, how his feet are doing it. I guess it doesn't matter. Crap, they're inside there. Not some defensive line if they can't defend. I guess that's what happens when a bigger foe comes along. Ah, oh, it's the stupid helicopter guys. Not swing it around. Why don't we have a back cannon on this? There we go, that's the foot I wanted. You. Yeah. I feel like I'm a Goron at heart in the Zelda universe. But not the right proportions. Oh, there we go, I just gotta eat tasty rocks, apparently. <laughs> I'm getting fed up with this stupid thing again. I'm having some trouble here. Quit dinking around, slip. There we go. Steady as she goes. Another one is in there. These guys, I can't get to the bridge in time. Maybe I should just not care. Did that work? No, he's still coming through. Get out of here. All right, swing it around. We need like thrusters and a back cannon, then this thing will be impossible to defeat. He slipped through again. Oh, so dumb. You're getting the foot, even though I already cannoned you. Cannoned, whatever. And here comes another one. It's gonna need the foot. Whatever. I'm just gonna see if I can get over there. 
We're on easy. What's one helicopter inside the base or whatever? There we go. No nonsense. What? Man. Nothing a little magma rain can't fix. I do feel like the mountain is messing me up. Stupid Lionels, dude, and their bows constantly. It's like the same thing with the elephant missions. And the counter in this is not as good. I can't exactly catch an arrow and throw it back at him. So we just gotta tank it, dude. Wow, there's barrels all set up. All right, in that case. What is it telling me to destroy here? Well, there we go, I guess we did it. That was a little bit rough going at some point there, but we got through it. Yeah, it was definitely a cool mission all along from like the beginning cutscene up through this. I enjoyed it. So now, what the heck is the explanation for this time traveling stuff? Did we get one or not yet? When it happened, I could faintly hear a voice calling to me. As I searched for who it was, I suddenly saw my dear sister under attack. My only thought was that I had to help her. Next thing I knew, I was inside Veruta. That was your doing, wasn't it? Thank you. Now, we must hurry to Arcola Citadel. What's the problem? Hurry it up. Slow. Despite our best efforts, the enemy has only grown stronger. To succeed, we must adjust our strategy. Finally, the two of you can actually be of some use for once in your life. <laughs> <laughs> I can't split, you're my best lackey! In that case, I will protect you, even if it costs me my life. A blood sacrifice for the calamity. Fate gives you this role, and you will play it! <laughs> Do we get to play as Master Koga now? Maybe not, but I kind of expected it for a second. 
No, nah, it must be loading the map again. I think without the maniacal laugh, it would have been just fine. I don't know. I like to do it when he's talking normal, but when he gets all weird, it's like, eh, kind of over the top. Winning smile. Man, imagine how me feels right now. Yeah, well, I want to see how Yanobo plays. I'm sure we're going to get all kinds of stuff to beef him up. Here we go again. Mifa and Daruk have returned. The team is back together. Relentless has a waterfall. Level 43. I could go straight to it. We're on chapter 6 now. Alright, well that's going to be some time. You know about special attack plus that helmet thing. Why not? Let's just start buying crap. Huh. I'll do even better next time. Eat a rock roast and activate the power of protection. Huh, I'm already intrigued. Bonus hearts. Do we have the pumpkins? Can always buy some more. I'm getting stronger all the time. Level 41. Upgrade them. Oh no, not the hydro melons. Yeah, I'm always running low on those. Time. Sweet. I like going into their training missions already a combo ahead. I mean, I guess it expects you to do that, but it's just that leveling up thing that feels good for some reason because real life doesn't have that kind of affirmation. Anti-flame training. Okay. Well, those kinds of things I might do off screen. So we've already seen it. Forest Dance Festival. I don't know. Anti-ice, yeah, same thing there. It looks like the Blight Ganons are involved, so that's really the main difference. Winged Escort requires Teba. That could be interesting to do. The Chief in Training. Oh, okay, now we're getting these, like, future-specific things. You know, most training, yeah, there we go. That's what we want to do, but not just yet. I, I foresee a side mission video. Ah, oh, sweet, that recipe you get from uh, Laurelin Village. Good going. Now, oh, plus three health, I don't care. Could have been better. Yes, what do we get? Goat butter. Good. We need that for the stew that I keep making. Day a hot pot. Let's see. Side on training. That could be fun. We've already seen them, but. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, the hearty bash, man. Mm -hmm. There's never enough. <laughs> One of these regions had a reward of giving you a bunch of those. There we go. And they're going to be gone just like that, but whatever. Amazing! Wow, plus 12%. That, well, no, because it costs all those fish. Okay, that's the one that had all those as a reward. I don't know, I still think the carrot stew is better than the plus 12% thing. Yep, so we'll just be beefing these guys up, and next time we will be doing their training. But I I'm won't stop there. gonna do the anti-ice, fire, and lightning just on my own time. Even though it's got the blight cannons again, but... It just seems like overkill to keep doing that. I'm more interested in getting back to the story. To have but since these characters are pretty much, uh... They're not just throwaway characters like the Great Fairies and Hess do, you know? I shall handle the next tussle. Employ boundless optimism is what its ZR is. Alright, melons. Ah. Constantly a problem. 
I guess probably like Riju and Teba, we're not going to get access to their bonus combo that adds an extra finisher in there until we do their training missions. So anyway, I'm rambling and just picking stuff on the map. This is stupid. So next time we will do what we can there before moving on to the main story again. Thanks for watching. Take care.